the Liturgy of Evening Prayer is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 117. Page 117. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. O oh, gracious light, your brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sky, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. The psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 77 and 79, 77 and 79, beginning on page 693 of the Book of Common Prayer, page 693. I will cry aloud to God. I will cry aloud and he will hear me. In the day of the trouble, my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hands were stretched out by night and did not tire. I refused to be comforted. I think of God, I am restless. I ponder in my spirit things. You will not let my eyelids close. I am troubled and I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. I ponder and search my mind. Will the Lord cast me off forever? Will he show no more his favor? Has his loving kindness come to an end forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in his anger withheld his compassion? And I said, my grief is this. The right hand of the Most High has lost its power. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your acts and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who works wonders and have declared your power among the people. By your strength you have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob, the chosen. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The very depths were shaken. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered. Your arrows flashed to and the sound of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the great waters. Yet your footsteps were not seen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses. Error. Psalm 79, page 701, 701. O God, the heathen have come into your inheritance. They have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of rubble. They have given the bodies of your servants as food for the birds of the air and the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts. 
They have shed their blood like water on every side of Jerusalem. And there was no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, an object of scorn and derision to those around us. How long will you be hungry, O Lord? Will your fury blaze like fire forever? Pour out your wrath upon the heathen who have not known you and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob, and made his dwelling a ruin. Remember not our past sins, let your compassion be swift to meet us. For we have been brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let it be known among the heathen and in our sight that you avenge the shedding of your servant's blood. Let the sorrowful sign of the prisoners come before you. And by your might, Spare those who are condemned to die. May the revelings with which they reviled you, O Lord, return sevenfold into their bosoms. For we are your people and the sheep of your pasture. We will give you thanks forever and show forth your praise from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson is from the book of Judges. That night the Lord said to Gideon, Take your father's bull, the second bull seven years old, and pull down the altar of Baal, which your father had and cut down the Asherah that is behind it, and build an altar to the Lord your God upon the top of the stronghold here, with stones laid in due order. And then take the second bull, and offer it as a burnt offering, with the wood of the Asherah, which you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten men of his servants, and did as the Lord had told him. But because he was too afraid of his family, and the men of the town, to do it by day, he did it by night. When the men of the town rose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was broken down, and the Asherah behind it was cut down, and the second bull was offered upon the altar which had been built. And they said to one another, Who has done this thing? And after they made search and inquire, they said, Gideon, the son of Joash, of Joash had done this thing. Then men of the town said to Joash, Bring out your son that he may die, for he has pulled down the altar of Baal and cut down the Asherah behind it. But Joshua said to all who were arrayed against him, you, Will you contend for Baal, or will you defend his cause? Whoever contends for him shall be put to death by morning. If he is a god, let him contend for himself, because his altar has been pulled down. Therefore, on that day he was called Jeroboam, that is to say, let Baal contend against him, because he pulled down his altar. Then all the Midianites and the Amicalites and the people of the east came together, and crossing the Jordan, they encamped in the valley of Jezreel. But the Spirit of the Lord took possession of Gideon, and he sounded the trumpet, and the Abed's knights were called out to follow him. He sent messengers throughout all Manasseh, and they too were called out to follow him. And he sent messengers to Asher, Zebulun, Nepalthia, and they went up to meet him. 
Then Gideon said to God, If thou wilt deliver Israel by my hand, as thou hast said, Behold, I am laying a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece alone, and it is dry on all the ground, then I shall know that thou wilt deliver Israel by my hand, as thou hast said. And it was so. When he rose early the next morning, he squeezed the fleece. He wrung out enough dew from the fleece to fill a bowl with water. Then Gideon said to God, Let not thy anger burn against me. Let me speak but this once, pray. Let me make trial only this once with the fleece, pray. Let it be dry only on the fleece. And on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. For it was dry on the fleece, and on all the ground there was dew. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat is found on page 119, page 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A second lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles. When the devout people heard what Peter had said, they were cut to the heart, and said to Peter and the rest of the Apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children, and to all that are far off, every one whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other words, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. And all who believed were together, and had all things in common. And they sold their possessions and goods, and distributed them to all, as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together, and breaking bread in their homes, they partook of the food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number, day by day, those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Song of Simeon, page 120. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our final lesson this evening is from the Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the light was the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony, to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for he was before me. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, has made him known. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed, page 120. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past, and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours, through him who died and rose for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercy, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.